in action. Hello again, Bobcats. Okay, if you log into your student portal, you will see that you have Microsoft Office for free where you can download it into five different devices. You just use your ID number at students.dateschools.net and your password for the portal. To use Microsoft Office, you're going to use Excel to make your data chart. So this experiment is about nurse sharks swimming back and forth depending on the food that they eat. So my test variable is type of food. Type of food doesn't really fit, so I'm going to double click between A and B and it opens it up. The three foods that the nurse shark ate was shrimp, squid, and fish. Okay, for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, you only have to do five trials. For physical science and biology, you have to do 10. So trial one, see, don't type in trail. Trial three, trial four, trial five, and average. Okay, so for my first trial, 89 seconds, 88 seconds, 87, 85, 86. Then I go to shrimp, no, squid, 76, 77, 77, 75, 77. Go to fish, 100, 99, 101, 99, 100. Okay, Microsoft Excel actually does the averages for me. Okay, so if you look up here, this is a Latin sign. If you click on the arrow next to it, one of the options is average. So for this one, it's already going to average my five trials for shrimp. So I'm just going to press enter on my keyboard. If I do it again for squid, it wants to average this number. That's not what I want. You want the five trials for your second test variable and then press enter. One last time, average. I don't want to average those two numbers. I want to average the five trials for fish. Enter. Okay. I'm going to make a graph for my trials. So I'm just going to highlight my five trials, insert, and I want a column graph. Doesn't have to be fancy. Okay. If you notice, what's wrong with this graph? The trials, the trials are on the x-axis. That's not what we want. Really important. You're going to click switch row column. Now I have my test variable on the x-axis, shrimp, squid, fish. So who swam the longest amount of time? Fish. fish. But I don't know what these numbers mean. So I'm going to go here to the chart layouts, and I'm going to pick one that has titles. So shrimp, squid, and fish are? You guys are so smart. You must have seen this before. Okay, 0 to 120 is time in seconds. Okay, so there's my graph. I'm going to right click and copy. Nope, right click, copy. Okay, I'm going to open up a PowerPoint presentation. I already did this one. Okay, go to new slide, get a blank slide, right click, copy make it bigger okay I need a title for this what is this this is a graph of my trial so insert word art graph of trials okay Now, before that, I need a data chart. So I'm deleting everything on my slide, going back to Excel. Now I do want to copy all of my data with the average. Right click, copy, go back to my PowerPoint presentation, right click, paste. Make it big, whoa. <laughs> 
tad bit big. Okay, I don't know what any of these numbers mean. What am I missing? The outcome variable. My outcome variable is... Okay, and then I need a label for this. Insert word art. This is my data chart. Okay, so I have my one for trials. Now I need one for averages. Okay, new slide. Go back to Excel. Okay, I'm going to copy this. Control C, one, two, three, four. Control V. Move this out of the way. Move this out of the way. One, two, three, four. Control C, one, two, three, four. Control V. That didn't work. 87, 76.4, 99.8. Okay, now I'm going to highlight just this data and I want to make another column graph. Okay, now this time it works. Shrimp, squid, and fish, 0 to 120. What do I need to change? Uh, Chart layout. Again, this is my test variable type of food and this is my outcome variable do not forget your units okay right click copy go back to PowerPoint right click paste Okay, insert, this is graph for averages. Okay, X, Y, and the last one I need, new slide for results. results. Okay, in results you're going to talk about which one had the greatest or the fastest or the most. Then you're going to talk about which one had the least or the slowest. And then the third one, you're going to talk about the difference between the largest and the smallest. And then you're done. If you go to File, Print, you want full slides, and that will print all of your full slides. And that is it. Thank you very much.